Hey everyone, Cosmic Mango here, your favorite mango from outer space. I hope you're all doing well today. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about some unique mono-colored commanders. So if you're looking for a unique commander, which is refreshing to play, which is one single color, then this video is perfect for you. Before we start, quick shout out to Paramint Designs. They make amazing play mats with fantastic artwork and great durability. If you're interested in picking up a new playmat, check out my description below, which is offering a special coupon code for you, special offer code, try it out, honestly. They've got some amazing designs on their website. Also, I've got a Patreon, feel free to check that out if you want to. Again, the link is in my description below. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's dive into these unique monocolored commanders. Number one, eight and a half tails. A legendary creature fox cleric that costs two white mana to cast. It has two power and two toughness and says the following. For one generic and one white mana, target opponent you control gains protection from white until the end of turn. For one generic mana, target spell or permanent becomes the white until the end of turn. So eight and a half tails is a pretty radical commander, boasting a very unique kit. This commander has the unique ability to make permanents white and give them protection from targeted removal spells or abilities that would otherwise destroy them. Eight and a half tails gives you control over the battlefield by being able to manipulate the color of other permanents to white, disrupting your opponent's strategy and protecting your own. Overall, this is one very resilient commander that can provide protection, evasion and control in a variety of situations making it a strong choice for many commander decks. You can buy this commander for around 50 cents. Number two, Varchild, Betrayer of Keljor. I hope I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> a legendary creature human knight that costs one red and two generic mana to cast. She has three power and three toughness and says the following. Whenever Varchild, Betrayer of Keljor, deals combat damage to a player, that player creates that many 1-1 red survivor creature tokens. Survivors your opponent's control can't block and they can't attack you or planeswalkers you control. When Varchild leaves the battlefield, gain control of all survivors. So Varchild makes an interesting mono red commander, boasting a lot of juicy and fulfilling card text. The survivor mechanic she offers is so enjoyable to play and manipulate with. Once she gets going, Varchild is an explosive force to stop. She's incredibly fast and aggressive, and has the power to flip the table upside down once every opponent has access to their own survivor tokens. You'll be seeing loads of combat shenanigans with this commander. I find it so cool how the survivors can't harm us at all, neither can they block us, which is very nice. Lastly, if for some reason an opponent decides to remove our child, you then gain control of all survivors on the battlefield, which can be devastating for your opponents to handle. Overall, this is one very unique and aggressive commander. You can buy this commander for around $6. Number 3. Nilea, Keen-Eyed. A legendary enchantment creature, God, that costs 1 green and 3 generic mana to cast. She has 5 power and 6 toughness and says the following. Indestructible. As long as your devotion to green is less than 5, the layer isn't a creature. Creature spells you cast cost 1 generic mana less to cast. For 2 generic and 1 green mana, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put it into your hand, otherwise you may put it into your graveyard. If you're into green decks and looking for a mono green commander offering a somewhat unique spin to the game, and is different to how big green decks usually operate, then the layer could be the perfect choice for you. Offering a wide range of superb card techs, this god is one mighty force to be reckoned with. Indestructible is always a great ability and being able to reduce the casting cost of creature spells we cast is mighty fine. I love reducing casting costs of creatures, I think it's great. In fact, I love reducing casting costs of anything, who doesn't? Lastly, we have a great built-on ability on Nilea that can be used as many times a turn as we want, as long as we have that mana available. In fact, it's this unique ability that makes her really shine out from the rest of the mono green commanders out there. You can rapidly build up a hand of awesome creatures using this effect. This commander rules, and you can buy this commander for around $5. Number 4. 
Ruxa Patient Professor. A legendary creature, Bear Druid, that costs 2 green and 2 generic mana to cast. It has 4 power and 4 toughness and says the following. Whenever Ruxa Patient Professor enters the battlefield or attacks, return target creature card with no abilities from your graveyard to your hand. Creatures you control with no abilities get plus 1 plus 1. For each creature you control with no abilities, you may have that creature assign its combat damage as though it weren't blocked. Okay, so apart from the amazing card art of a bear dressed as a professor, Ruxa is a very unique and strong commander. In fact, I don't know any other commander that operates in the same way as Ruxa, as he allows you to build a deck full of creatures with no abilities. No ability tribal. Pretty cool, huh? I think Ruxa offers an incredibly unique and refreshing feel to the game of Magic the Gathering, giving a home to creatures that many players will likely have never seen before. Now that, in my opinion, is just very, very cool. I really like this commander and I'm actually very tempted to build a deck with him myself. You can buy this commander for around $1.80. Number 5. Zerzoth, Chaos Rider. A legendary creature, Devil, that costs 1 red and 2 generic mana to cast. It has 2 power and 3 toughness and says the following. Whenever an opponent draws their first card each turn, if it's not their turn, you create a 1-1 red Devil creature token with When this creature dies, it deals 1 damage to any target. Whenever one or more Devils you control attack, one or more players, you and those players each draw a card, then discard a card at random. Okay, Zerzov Chaos Rider is considered a unique commander in Magic the Gathering because of its ability to create devil tokens whenever opponents draw cards when it's not their turn, which surprisingly happens quite often in Commander. This ability allows for a powerful and aggressive strategy focused on overwhelming opponents with large numbers of token devil creatures. Additionally, Zerzov's ability to draw cards whenever one or more devils we control attack offers versatility to the deck and can help maintain card draw, although you do have to discard a card at random, which is something annoying, so we can't really call this card advantage, and this mechanic also helps the players you attack. But again, they got to discard a card at random, so it's very likely you could get your opponents to draw a card and then discard maybe the best card in their hand, which is pretty awesome, right? It can be very fun. So overall, Zerzov offers a unique and potentially strong playstyle that sets it apart from other commanders in the game. It's a great one for mono red decks, and you can buy this commander for around 70 cents. Number 6. Frix the Sudden Storm. A legendary creature elemental giant that costs 2 blue and 3 generic mana to cast. It has 4 power and 5 toughness and says the following. Flash. Flying, spells you cast with mana value 5 or greater, cost 1 generic mana less to cast, and can't be countered. So it's not often you see a commander with flash, Frix offers flash, flying, and a very nice mana reduction ability for large spells, and prevents them from being counted, which is amazing. This allows you to cast your big splashy spells with ease, knowing that no opponent can stop them so you get a reduced casting cost on it, and it can't be counted. All of Flix's kit is highly unique, and you can even play this commander as an aggressive swinger, using his flying and nice 4 power to eat away at your opponent's life totals over the game, which is something mono blue decks don't usually do. Overall, Flix is a highly unique mono blue commander and stands out from the usual suspects. You can buy this commander for around 50 cents. Number 7, the final card on my list, Horobi Death's Well, a legendary creature spirit that costs 2 black and 2 generic mana to cast. It has 4 power and 4 toughness and says the following. Flying, whenever a creature becomes a target of a spell or ability, destroy that creature. Okay, Horobi is a crazy and very wacky commander to play and build. Once this commander is out, spell slinging becomes rather absurd as anything you target is destroyed. However, this affects all players on the table, so Horobi has the ability to completely warp a game of commander, as you can probably imagine. Horobi's unique ability to change the game by destroying any creature that is targeted allows for a different playstyle than traditional black decks. This ability can create chaos on the battlefield and disrupt opponent's tragedies. Horobi's ability to destroy creatures can lead to unpredictable and exciting gameplay, making it a fun commander to play with and against. 
Overall, this is one mighty unique commander offering an interesting twist to your commander games. And you can buy this commander for around 50 cents, which makes it very budget friendly. Okie dokie, we've arrived to the end of the video. What do you think of the commanders I've chosen? Do you have any recommendations on some unique mono colored commanders out there? If so, let me know in the comment section below. I love reading your comments and always try my best to answer them all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, check out the two other videos that should have popped up on the screen. Please could drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to keep updated for more of my future Commander content. Remember to check out Paramount Designs, their playmats are truly glorious. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, take care and goodbye.